takes you far away from the places you have grown. Please prepare for broadcast and enter the lounge. Season Being five. Being late is a punishable offence. Please arrive promptly. Three years and I'm still no closer to finding new jewels. Or getting out of this hellhole. I'm so sorry. Why even put it in if it does nothing? Hey, Mr. Blinky. How you doing today? Not look that good, huh? <laughs> Don't be so glum. Cheer up, chum. I'm going insane. Lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. And we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Live from Compendium Estates, it's Captive Audience! With me, your incomprehensible, dashing, and always fabulous host, Gene Osman! And here's a guy you've all been waiting for. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Matt! Hi folks! Wow, it's, it's great to see you again. Hi Matt, and how are you today? I'm doing great, thanks. Even better now that you guys are here. Fantastic. And what will you be doing for us today? Oh, looks like today I'll be doing some baking. How does red velvet cake sound? Ooh, delightful. Tell us, what do you need for a cake like that? The recipe says I'll need butter, eggs, flour, salt, sugar, pickle juice. Well, that's different. <laughs> also, food coloring, milk, and frosting. Well, better get to it then, Matt. We don't want to keep the folks at home waiting too long. Cake won't bake itself, Matt. Better put it into the oven now. <clears throat> ouch, ouch. That that really Smart. Ooh, now that has got to hurt. Safety first, Matt. Maybe try the oven gloves. Silly me. If only I'd thought of that sooner. Oh no, I smell burning. Looks like you overcooked it, Matt. Did you get distracted? Oh, come on, I'd literally just put it in. Guess I, I should have paid more attention, folks. Maybe the frosting will cover it up. I'll do my best. That looks great, Matt. You really brought it back. Now, how does it taste? Uh, I, I had quite a big breakfast, so I'll save it for later. Oh, come now, Matt. The folks at home want to know what it tastes like. And we all know you love cake. This is fucking bullshit. So, Matt, how's it taste? Mm. <laughs> you look a bit ill there, Matt. Next time, maybe you should follow the recipe a bit closer. 
Bye, everybody. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see you next time. Broadcast ended. Please use this free time to better yourself before the next performance. What godforsaken creature is this meant to be? I hate being held here against my wall. It's abstract design speaks to me. It's not saying anything nice though. There's no school at the old school. They say you can notice the most subtle sounds and in instruments with vinyl. All I hear is static. Stacy's finished. I should go see how she's holding up. Hi, honey. How was your day? Oh, the usual. Sandra at work is such a bitch. It's just gossip, gossip, gossip. I mean, could you just shut up? <laughs> <laughs> How are you holding up? It sounded like a rough one today. It was fine. Nothing I couldn't handle. How about you? Same here. It was fine. Maybe we'll get cancelled next season. We might actually get out. People have to be getting bored of this by now. Matt, if you get cancelled, they don't just let you out. Probably right. Hold up. I thought I just heard something in the kitchen. Matt, be careful. They could just be trying to bait you out for some stupid game. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Just, I'll be right back, I promise. Okay, I'll be here. It's not like I've got anywhere else to go. Hello? Anyone here? What the fuck? I guess it's on the fritz. Figures they can't even keep their own gear running. Matt, listen carefully. Follow my instructions and I can help you. I don't understand. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. I'm a friend. It matters to me. Trust me, and I'll make sure you won't suffer for another season. I'm the key to your escape. Escape? How? This entire place is like a fortress. They'll just punish me if I try anything. I'm opening the outer door for you. Make your way out of the apartment and down the corridor. I don't believe it. How did you... There's no time, Matt. Move. Now. I'm telling you, it's going to be a big hit. No, no. I realise it's risky, but still, ratings are in the slump, and I think this could be the thing that brings us back into the limelight. You've got to trust me on this. Give me a week, maybe two. We'll see how it's going. If it fails, we could just cancel the show and move on. No big deal, but I'm telling you, it's going to be huge. While I remember, could you send down maintenance to remove those bloody boxes? It's a tripping hazard where we're trying to move the equipment. Thanks. You too. Oh shit. No, 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 wait. I, I, I can explain. Please prepare for broadcast and enter the lounge. Being Ugh, late is a punishable offence. Please arrive promptly. I wonder what they're doing to you. What they put you through every day. Part of me hopes you got away from it all. Hey, Mr. Blinky. How are you doing today? Oh, that good, huh? <laughs> 
Don't be so glum. Cheer up, Sean. I'm going insane. And we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Live from Compendium Estates, it's Captive Audience! With me, your incomprehensible, dashing, and always fabulous host, Gene Osman! And here's the guy you've been waiting for. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Matt! Hi everybody, how's it going? So Matt, what are you going to be doing today? Looks like I'm going to be playing a new video game today. I sure can't wait. Terrific. Well, get to it then. Doesn't that game look fantastic? Oh, it looks great, but I need to find a controller first. Now, where could it be? Found it. Let's see how we play. I've got a good feeling that we'll win this in no time. Yes! You've got no idea what's coming. I'm a ninja. You can't see me. Well, look at that, folks. We made it. Now to finish the mission. Oh. Look, looks like someone must have dropped something next door. Sorry about that, folks. And he's done it. A massive thank you to Matt for helping us clear out our calendar today and open the way for a new show starting next week. Stay tuned for a sneak peek trailer right after these messages from our sponsors. Hi, everybody. See you next time. Broadcast no, 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 no. What did you just make me do? What did you make me do? Who is that? Are you fucking insane? I'm not. I'm done with this shit. No, I am done. They made me kill someone today, Stacy. Matt. I... Who was it? Another contestant, I think. In one of the rooms near us. I could... I could hear the gunshot from the living room. Whatever they made you do, it wasn't your fault, and you know that. If they were killing off another character, it was going to happen either way. Still, I thought it was just a game. You know, a stupid game that we were trying to advertise or something. Hell, I was even enjoying it until I realised... To make me kill someone with a game station? What the fuck is wrong with these people? That's showbiz. Don't let them get to you, Matt. You're stronger than they are. You've got to stay strong. For Julia. For me. Someday we're going to get out of here. Okay? Both of us. And I mean it. I won't leave you here, Stacy. That'd be nice. Where's the first place you'd want to go? I think I'd go to a bar and just get absolutely hammered. Try to forget about all this for just one night. That or an ice cream parlour. God, I miss that cold feeling. The flavours. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd want to go away. So my open and just... Feel the breeze and space around me. Somewhere natural, you know. So sick of feeling boxed in, of nothing being real. Me and Julia used to just sit on the couch. <laughs> you know, before all this, the thought of hiking around outdoors is a fate worse than death. <laughs> now I just kill to feel the rain on my face again. And that smell. The fresh rain on everything. Yeah. And we'd have to keep in touch, you know. 
person to person? Nah, as soon as I'm out of here, it's over between us. I've got a reputation to uphold, you know. It's one of the cool kids. Besides, I don't think Julia will want me hanging around too much. You and her have a life to rebuild. Stacy. I mean, without you, I wouldn't have made it this far, okay? If I didn't have you to talk to, I'd have gone mad seasons ago. And to be honest, I, I, you know, I can't imagine what my life would be like without you. That's my cue. With any luck, you'll be seeing me shortly. I'm going to get us out, Stacey. Be careful, Matt. What's the plan for tonight? I'm opening the outer door for you. Make your way out of the apartment and down the corridor. Any tips this time? It's like a minefield out there. Don't get caught. You locked yourself out? Again? I'm getting sick of these excuses. I mean, how hard is it to keep hold of your fucking keycard, David? Get a bloody lanyard or something. We're paying you enough. Look, I don't want to hear it. Just get your shit together, Dave. There's a spare key in the safe in Dolores' office. You remember the code? Yeah. Yeah, good. Just don't let it happen again, you asshole. Please prepare for broadcast and enter the lounge. No, let's just Being get this late out of the way. is a punishable I'm offense. Out of here tonight. Please arrive promptly. In a cold and lifeless existence, you truly are my rock, Mr. Blinky. The door's locked. Hello? Can you assholes hear me? I said the door's locked. Shit. Open the open the door. I, I can't I can't get into the living room if you don't open the fucking door. If you think I'm gonna sit here and get punished because of your shitty door, then you've got another thing coming. Finally. If only I could do that to the producer's face. Live from Compendium Estates, it's Captive Audience. With me, your unfathomable, radiant, and always fabulous host, Gene Osman. And here's the guy you've been waiting for. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Matt! Hey, folks. <laughs> great, great to see you guys. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. You would want to keep the lovely people at home waiting. Well, you know me. You know, I like to keep it exciting for the folks at home. <laughs> so you do. Well, Matt, why don't you tell us what you'll be doing today? Today, I'm going to be... Sending an email to a fan of the show. That's great. Doesn't say their name, though. Sounds fantastic. Why don't we make our way to your office and get started? Listen to this makes me feel immediately superior to those digital ingrates. Pure artistry. Oh, 
Oh, it needs another password. And there's... What one's not in here? Oh. What should I do? I guess I'll try to get around it then. Listen to this makes me feel immediately superior to those digital ingrates. Pure artistry. And we did it! it wasn't so bad, was it, folks? Okay, so let's send this email. Who's the lucky fan of the show? Now, Matt, one of my uncles once told me that with great power comes great responsibility. You better use those newfound skills for good. We wouldn't want there to be any negative repercussions. Oh. Would you look at that? It, it's to, um, to, to, my, to, to my dear friend Julia. I, I haven't spoken to her in years. Not since they locked me up in here anyway. <laughs> oh, Matt, you joker, you. Careful what you say now. There goes nothing. Well, there we go, folks. Now I guess we wait and see if she replies. Well, that's all we have time for this week, folks. Will Matt receive a reply, or will he be left cold and alone? Tune in next week for more crazy action. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. Broadcast ended. Please use this free time to better yourself before the next performance. Tonight's the night. I can feel it. You're just going to get caught again, Matt. And eventually they're going to get tired of bringing you back. Well, with an attitude like that, they might as well just give up and wait to be cancelled. Look, I'm sorry I can't be enthusiastic every time, but I'm worried about you. Matt, if they take you and you don't come back, what am I meant to do? It'll just be me, alone in this shithole. I'm scared, Matt. Stacy. I'm sorry, okay, I'm I'm scared too, but if I start listening to that voice, the one that telling me I'm I'm gonna get myself killed and to stay put, then I'm never gonna get going again. There's someone out there is trying to help us. Okay? And if they still think that we can do it, then we have to trust them. You don't even know who they are, Matt. What if it's another game? Some stupid task they've thought up to boost ratings. Then I'm going to put on one hell of a show for them. They're going to regret what they've done to us, to Julia. Did you ever get a reply? To the email? She's alive, Stacy. Okay, they wouldn't have bothered dangling her in front of me if, if, if she wasn't, okay? They think me knowing they still have her will make me behave, fall in line and play their game and they are wrong. Matt, when I was brought here, after what I did, I was ready to give up and let them do whatever they wanted to me. Stacy. I wanted to die. I spent months just blindly following orders, wasting away as my show's ratings slowly declined. And then you arrived. You made me see that no matter what happened before, this isn't how it should end. I kept fighting because I couldn't let you down. I couldn't just let myself die and leave you here after all you'd done for me. You kept me alive, Matt. You gave me my spark back. And if I let you run yourself into the grave with these pointless escape attempts, then I could never forgive myself. 
think about Julia, Matt. About me. What do we do when you're gone? I'm sorry. Okay, I know it's risky, and I know how this will probably end, but I cannot stop now. I've got to keep going until either we're all out of here or I'm gone. I'm not going to be part of this anymore, Stacey. I'm not going to sit here and let them decide when we die. What's the plan for tonight? I'm opening the outer door for you. Make your way out of the apartment and down the corridor. Any tips this time? It's like a minefield out there. Don't get caught. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm sorry, Dolores. I didn't know he was going to leave the bloody thing open and he borrowed to spare. I swear to God, if he doesn't get his shit together, I'll be putting him on his own show and we'll see how funny it is to forget your ass every five seconds. Look, I know it's a breach of security. Yes, I realise what could have happened if a star had have got hold of it. I assure you, it won't happen again. We've reset the code, the new one saved on Tony's computer in the West Wing offices, and we'll be sending it out in a memo tomorrow. I think it's password protected, so if you need to get on that urgently, give Tony a shout and I'm sure he can help you. That's fine. No, it's okay. He's a twat. You've every right to be annoyed. Okay. Okay. Great talking to you, Dolores. Give my love to Charles. Oh, easy, easy, guys, come on, come on. Please prepare for broadcast and enter the lounge. Being late is a punishable offence. Please arrive promptly. I'm tired. I'm tired, Jules, and it's looking like I might never see you again. I think tonight will be the last try. Stacy's right, you know, if I carry on like this, they're gonna cancel me and I'm not ready for that. Okay, I'll give it my all, but in case I don't make it, I hope you find a way out. Love you. And we're live in five, four, three, two, one live from Compendium Estates, it's Captive Audience! With me, your incomprehensible, dashing, and always fabulous host, Gene Osman! And here's the guy you've been waiting for. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Matt! Hi, everybody! How's it going? Great to see you again. Now, Matt. Normally, we let you decide what fun activity you'll be sharing with our audience. But today, we thought we'd do something a little different. Keep you on your toes. Sounds interesting. What have you got for me? In front of you, you'll find a map and several clues. These will lead you on an exciting scavenger hunt with a shocking conclusion you won't see coming. Great. I can't wait to see what the prize is. You have till the end of the episode to finish. But don't take too long. You don't want to miss out on your prize. Best of luck, Matt. Clue one. Sealed behind glass, memories captured to last. Through me you gaze upon yourself and see into the past. Two. 
too. A world trapped in flickering light, unlocked by a small box, colourful and bright. Number three. I'm always running, the butt of the joke, but I give them a cold reception. Four. Scratched by a needle, spun on a plate. From me comes emotion, love, fear and hate. Congratulations, Matt! You found all the clues and claimed the final piece of the puzzle! We couldn't be prouder of you, big guy. Now, return to the living room to receive your reward. Don't open that envelope yet, though. You'll spoil the surprise. Welcome back, Matt. Did you enjoy the scavenger hunt today? Sure, I had a blast. Why don't you open the envelope and find out what you've won? I can't wait. Let's see what... What is there? <laughs> Slow down there, champ. We're getting to it. Now, show the audience what you found. Hold it up to the camera. That's right, folks. Those two lovely ladies and the leading influences in Matt's life, both of them cherished companions he couldn't do without. Isn't that just lovely? Oh. Unfortunately, times are tight, and neither of these lady shows have been achieving the ratings we've hoped for. If we keep running our business like this, well, we'll go bust. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? Oh. No! Would you, Matt? This... This is a joke, right? You, you wouldn't do this in front of the folks at home. Please, don't, please don't do this now. Leave them alone. It's not all bad, though. We've scrounged together, dug deep into the compendium's piggy bank, and pooled our birthday money to ensure that one of these shows can stay on the air. Sadly, that means one has to go, though. And you know what that means, folks. It's time to... Cancel that show! That's right! Yay! Normally, this sort of decision would be left to the higher-ups. But as both these lovelies are Matt's bows, we thought we'd reward his recent behavior by giving him the choice of who gets to stay and who gets cancelled. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry that I tried to get out, okay? No, just take it out on me, not them. Matt, in front of you are two buttons. One for Stacy and one for Julia. Make your choice, buddy. Who gets to stay on the air and who's going to be sent home? Choose quickly, though, because if the timer runs out and you haven't made a choice, we'll have to cancel both. Don't do this. Don't, don't, don't make me do this. No, please. The clock's ticking, Matt. Who's it going to be? The love of your life or the woman who's kept you sane all these years? It's a tough choice. I'm glad I don't have to make it. Fuck you! Now that's not very showman-like. Only 20 seconds left. You don't want them both to get cancelled, do you, Matt? I won't do this. No, God. Please, no. Ten, don't make nine, me choose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. No, Better be quick, no, Matt. no, 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 no. Two, fuck, fuck. One. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Congratulations, Matt. Thanks to you, Julia gets another season to prove herself. Though we can't say the same for Stacy. <laughs> to think, all these years you've kept each other sane, supported each other through thick and thin. It was almost like you were married. Hopefully she'll forgive your betrayal. Why don't we check in and see... No. No. Please. No! <laughs> Oops, too late. Congratulations again, Matt. Now say goodbye to the audience. I'm not going to stop. Not till I get out of here and find every last one of you. You hear me? I'll fucking kill... Another day, another wild adventure. What will Matt get up to next? Find out next time on Captive Audience. Broadcast ended. Please use this free time to better yourself before the next performance. I'm so sorry I let you down, Stacy. I'll make him pay, okay? But I'm gonna die trying.
What's the plan? I'm ready. I'm... I'm so sorry, Matt. What they've done to you is... unforgivable. Just tell me what I need to know. Let's end this. The producer wanted to view this episode in person. He's here, Matt. This is your best chance for revenge. Make your way towards the central control room. Take them out. Escape. Find him, Matt. Find him and make him pay. You don't have to worry about that. He's going to regret ever casting me in this fucking show. I'm opening the outer door for you. Make your way out of the apartment and down the corridor. Don't forget what you've learnt. Don't get caught. One, two. Congratulations, Matt! That's a wrap on season five! <laughs> you had us worried there for a minute, kiddo. I thought you might give up after that last task. <laughs> but no, no, you stuck to your guns, and Matt, we're proud of you. Oh, no, please. No, fucking no, no, no. So proud, in fact, that before we drag you back to your room for a well-deserved rest, we thought we'd give you a special reward. So here to present you is the lead producer and now senior executive of the network, Stacy Reynolds. Get over here, you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jean. Gosh, it's been a long run, hasn't it? I thought we were going to have a problem near the end there. Matt, oh, Matt. You gave us quite the scare before we got that fire burning again. I didn't expect to have to risk dying to get you off your ass. <laughs> but here we are. I think Matt deserves a round of applause, everybody, don't you? Well, everything... Everything was a lie. Julia. Well, now that brings us to our special reward. Matt, you came here looking to find your wife. And you've spent the last few years in the dark, not even knowing if she was still alive. Now, live on Captive Audience, I can confirm to you, Julia is alive. Give a round of applause for Julia, folks, star of our Saturday morning hour. Take a look for yourself, Matt. Please just, please just let go. Let me tell you, Matt. Your love story has gripped the nation. This season, we've achieved higher viewer ratings and satisfaction than any other show out there. Your desperate struggle to escape, your drive to rescue Julia, and your confusion about your feelings for Stacy have held our audience, dare I say, captive. <laughs> Not a single dry eye was left in the house over this one. Your passion, your commitment, inspiring, wasn't it, folks? Matt, I hope there are no hard feelings between us. Every 
star of the show is assigned a buddy for psychological management, and I was lucky enough, no, privileged, to be chosen for you. The past few years of being there for you have been some of the best of my career. Getting emotional here. <laughs> we had some great times together through that wall, didn't we? All those long nights spent chatting about what we'd do when we got out. Good times, good times. And now, thanks to you, I'm one step further on that ladder to the top. I owe it all to you, Matt. Let's give him another round of applause, folks. <laughs> Now, we've got a party to get started, so we're going to send you back to your room with the help of our lovely guards. Oh, and Matt, we've got one last surprise for you. Stacy, will you do the honors? You've been approved for five more seasons, Matt. Five! Do you know how amazing that is? And now I'm in charge. I've got some great ideas for season seven and eight. A desperate struggle for survival to rescue your love. It's going to make this season look like a kid show. We've got a long road ahead of us, Matt, but I can't wait to take it with you. No, 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 you fucking assholes. No, I'll fucking kill you. Get off me. Get off me. No. This isn't right, okay? You can't just fucking do this to me. You can't, Julia. No, Julia. Julia! Julia! Takes you far away from the places you have grown And the memories are fading fast Of the ones who mean the most Another train, another plane Hotel rooms now look the same Another town, another view But nothing's really moving you It must be time If you don't know which way is up instructions and I can help you.